We have a bombshell revelation on the corruption of the FBI, and it's even worse than any of us imagine. We're going to see exactly what's just been exposed. We're going to find out that the corruption actually gets even worse. And stick me at the very end of this video when we'll find out why the worst is yet to come for the FBI. You're not going to want to miss this. An FBI official revealed a shocking new detail of corruption within the Bureau on Tuesday. FBI Supervisory Counterintelligence Analyst Brian Auten was the first witness in the trial of Igor Danchenko. Now, Danchenko is the man behind the infamous anti-Trump dossier that detailed all kinds of salacious details about a mythical trip that Trump supposedly took to Moscow that Putin was supposedly using as blackmail against him. That dossier was fabricated. It was a fraud. The events detailed in there obviously never happened. Everyone admits that. And Igor Danchenko is, when all is said and done, the author of that dossier. He hired other sleazy minions to fill in the details, but he was the one entrusted to fabricate its contents. As a result of the investigative work of John Durham, Danchenko is now on trial. And the first witness called to testify, FBI agent Brian Auten, opened the trial with an absolute bombshell. He testified that the FBI offered ex-British intelligence agent Christopher Steele a million dollars to corroborate the salacious allegations made in the dossier against President Trump. According to Auten's testimony, the FBI felt that they had insufficient solid evidence for the FISA warrant to spy on the Trump campaign. And so they offered, and this is key, they offered to use our taxpayer money to pay a foreign spy a million dollars for one purpose only. And that was to deliver slanderous information that would destroy the 2016 campaign of Donald Trump. This is so much worse than Watergate. This is beyond belief. The FBI used our taxpayer money, our money, with the intention of interfering in a free and fair election by deliberately destroying the Republican candidate. But it gets worse. Now, remember, who is Christopher Steele? Christopher Steele is a former British spy who was hired by the Clinton campaign to dig up dirt on Trump. And he, in turn, hired this Russian fellow who's now on trial, Igor Danchenko, who put together all the fabricated absurdities on Trump, which he then delivered to Christopher Steele, who put the dossier together and in turn sold it to the Clinton campaign. And so what we have just learned in this trial is the revelation that the FBI actually went back to the guy who oversaw the compiling of this dossier, Christopher Steele, and offered him a million dollars if he could corroborate it just a little bit better. That way, they would get their FISA warrants. But what happens next is even more disturbing. But first, make sure to click on that link below and head on over to my special website for the Ready Project Food Supply. No one makes preparing for an emergency more ridiculously and easy and affordable than our good friends over at the Ready Project Food Supply. Their food kits last up to 25 years in storage. They include breakfast, lunches, and dinners, and each meal's packed with at least 2,000 calories. And if you act right now, you're going to save 25% off a full four-week emergency food supply when you click on that link below to my special website so whatever you do do not wait click on that link below and start building your emergency food supply today now obviously obviously christopher Steele couldn't corroborate a thing so he never got the million dollars but that didn't stop the fbi they went ahead and submitted the dossier as it was which they knew was total nonsense, they nevertheless submitted it to the FISA court, which turned around and basically rubber-stamped their request for a warrant to spy on Trump. They couldn't stop Trump's campaign with the dossier, so maybe they could bring him down by spying on him and tapping into his campaign's computers, which we've also learned that they did. So, again, it gets even more insane. You ready for this? So, Danchenko the guy who fabricated all the details about Trump's mythical trip to Moscow. He's on trial. Danchenko gave all those details to Christopher Steele, right, who put them together in the dossier, delivered it to the campaign, Clinton campaign. 
We now know that the FBI offered Steele a million dollars if he could provide further evidence that would sink Trump's campaign, right? He didn't give them, didn't give it to them, but the FBI still went ahead, used the fabricated dossier's evidence to spy on Trump. And now we know that as of March 2017, the FBI actually signed up Danchenko as a paid informant. What's known as a CHS, confidential human source. No, knowing that he would continue to feed them with lies. The same kind of lies he was feeding Christopher Steele, which the FBI was using as evidence to obtain FISA warrants to spy on Trump and using your tax dollars to pay for it. So the FBI actually paid for Danchenko to continue to feed them Russian disinformation in order to frame the president for colluding with Russia. I mean, it's insane. It, it's, I mean, the very fellow who's responsible for all of those disgusting, salacious lies about Trump contained in that fabricated dossier was a paid informant for the FBI. Our tax dollars basically paid him to frame our president. So what's our takeaway from all of this? Well, believe it or not, there's some very, very good news coming out from all this. And again, just as a reminder, gang, we are here to take care of each other. Our good friends over at Gold Co. are here to protect you and your savings in the midst of all of this economic insanity with the timeless values of gold and silver. They're patriots just like us, and they're here to help guard and save your assets. Make sure to click on that link below and see how you can get upwards of $10,000 of free silver if you open up an account with them. They're absolutely amazing. So here's the good news, all right? The cat's out of the bag, and there is no... <laughs> going back. There's no hurting the cats, as it were. The corruption side of the FBI is being exposed more and more every single week. And that's having a dramatic effect on the FBI's reputation, both within and outside D.C. Top-ranking Republicans are already saying that FBI reform will be one of the top items of their new agenda for the new coming majority in November, and especially given what's happened with Trump and Mar-a-Lago. Keep in mind, this FBI that raided Trump's home is the same FBI that was paying the likes of Christopher Steele and Igor Danchenko deliberately for false information. It is, when all is said and done, the beginning of the end for the FBI. Even Victor Davis Hanson is coming out calling for its dismantling and its responsibilities dispersed among various other federal investigative agencies. The FBI's days are over. It's not a matter of if, it's only when. And they only have themselves to blame. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. You will definitely want to check out my latest video on the Democrats who just ended their own campaigns just weeks from the midterms. You're going to love it. So make sure to click on that link and I will see you over there. God bless. <laughs>